I recently got a letter through the post inviting me to enrol my youngest child into a new mRNA vaccine trial. So I thought I'd share some details of this trial with you because it's very important medical news. And I found out as a parent, as a doctor, I was unaware that babies were now being recruited for new mRNA trials. This is a Moderna trial, and I think it's fair to say Moderna has a pretty good relationship with the UK government, as evidenced by their 10-year partnership surrounding mRNA research and development, and also that the Deputy Chief Medical Officer of England during the COVID pandemic, who frequently appeared on TV and in the news advising the nation during that time, went on to join Moderna as a clinical advisor. So the trial I was invited to enrol my baby into is the RHYME trial, and these are some summary points that I gleaned from the letter I received. This is a randomised trial enrolling five to seven month old babies. It's to evaluate two investigational vaccines, that is the phrase the letter used, called mRNA1345 and mRNA1365. The viruses it's being developed for are RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, and HMPV, human metanumovirus. Children will get three injections over a four month period, either a placebo or the mRNA vaccines. And this is from Moderna's website. Diseases do not discriminate and neither should our clinical trials. At Moderna, we remain unwavering in our commitment to researching mRNA-based vaccines and therapies with a goal of bringing better health for all populations. Despite all our modern pharmaceuticals, health appears to be worsening. People of all ages, babies, children, and adults, are still struggling to sort out basics like proper nutrition, an essential aspect in effectively fighting off infectious diseases. Is it really wise to sideline the precautionary principle and continue the relentless push for more pharmaceutical agents, especially when it comes to trialing relatively new technology without long-term safety data on babies? Is that the best approach to build resilience against infectious disease? Is it really the ticket to better health? We are at a point in human history where, as a species, we are becoming seemingly unable to do very fundamental things required for healthy living. We are either forgetting or losing the ability or de-skilling in essential aspects of life. This includes things like natural childbirth, breastfeeding babies, bringing children up in an environment that doesn't give them mental health problems, not living in a constant stress state, being metabolically healthy, having access to the sorts of foods that our ancestors would have sought out, living in an environment that is not full of toxic endocrine disrupting chemicals, being energized and active throughout the day, sleeping well and feeling good. The reason we are struggling with these things is due to our modern lifestyles and our modern environment. And unless we fight to reverse the lifestyle factors that have caused these problems, the current health crisis will just continue to escalate. I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts on all this in the comments below. If you're interested in taking control of your health and using lifestyle measures to radically alter how you feel, then I hope the videos on my channel will be helpful. My book is also linked in the description for a fully detailed practical approach. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and I'll see you next time.